Hello, a happy Friday. We're having a breakout moment. It's fine. She's a breakout star. We love it. Uh, I got back from visiting my uh, Mima last morning, <laughs> yesterday, and uh, I got more reading done than I thought I was going to. I had planned to do a lot and keep working while I was there, so I did as much as I could. Okay, I'll tell ya. So let's talk about the book that I finished and the one that I started and I'm almost finished and the other one that I started. Are you keeping up? Good. So I finished Ivy and I gave it five stars because this is exactly what I want when I say I want a Pretty Little Liars Gossip Girl-esque book. Everyone had secrets. Everyone had more secrets than you realized. So the end of the book, we're having reveals, reveals, reveals. It was so good so this one follows three different people and their lives are interconnected in different ways that you don't really know yet but what you know off the bat is this one girl wants to move into the other two girls house for just her last year at this super exclusive school so you have that kind of vibe going on which reminded me of Gossip Girl with the Richie Richness and then you have Prilla Liars because everyone is a pretty person who is lying and um yeah, from there it just kind of takes off and you discover all of the secrets of the world. And there's also a love interest for each one. So you're also getting like a love story to follow for each one. I will say I wish there was a more diverse like array of relationships in there. They were all kind of the exact same. So it was a little bit boring, but the tea kept me there. So enjoyed it a lot. I thought the writing style was really good. It felt like I was reading a movie, like if a, and not a script, but if a movie was novelized of, you know, Gossip Girl meets Pillow Liars, this would be how it read. And I really liked it a lot. And then I, Ginger, good morning, Bean. We have our star of the show finally. She decided to rear her pretty little head. Um, so I started Hidden Pictures, which is a thriller. I don't know if it's a paranormal thriller, but it's giving a lot of paranormal vibes right now. But this one, we're following our main character who is recently, I mean, she's 20 months sober. So she's doing pretty good on the wagon. Is that what they say? I don't know. It's what I say. And she's, you know, trying to just come back from that lifestyle and really turn it around and be 
what she wants to be the best self for her. And so she, through her sponsor, gets this job interview to become the nanny of this kid, which I love this dynamic in thrillers because I think kids are creepy as hell. And she starts babysitting this kid who is like super sweet, super nice. He loves drawing, so he draws her pictures. A lot of them are seemingly harmless. It's like a little goat dude, or he'll draw like them together. But then he starts to draw like murder. And more paranormal things start to happen. There is a Ouija board scene. So if those freak you out, they should. They're creepy as heck. Um, that's there and you, you can embark on that. But I am 70% through that. So I am hoping to finish that today, AKA this morning, and then I'll move on to another one. I, after I finished reading it for last night, I finished, well, I came home from the airport and then I finished my um, mini book bookshelf. I actually got some wood in and I got it from Amazon. So I'll put everything that I got or a version of it that you can get off of Amazon into like a little thing on my Amazon store front. I am a boutique. Uh, but you can just get it from there and you can see like all of it in one place. And then I just use Canva for the books. So there's that, but, uh, it looks really cute. And so I'll show it to you later. I think I'm going to keep it on my bedside table, but I'm not really sold on it because we, we, my partner, while I was gone, installed these two shelves that we bought at Target. They're floating shelves. I really like them. And, uh, we're trying to introduce cause it's, I'll show it in a second, but it's not as rich of a wood color as this. And so I'm trying to introduce some darker tone woods over here so that eventually we can get the cabinets redone to like a darker wood, but it's brown, not, this is espresso and I like espresso, but I don't think it goes exactly with what's over here. Like, I don't think it's like, you know, need to be fixed right away, but whatever. Speaking of dark things and dark books, um, Mikay, if you're out there, if you're watching this, you're probably not. You have much better things to do with your time. Like create the, first of all, if you're not following Mikay, seriously, one of the most like just effortlessly funny people I've ever watched. Everything he says, whether it's meant to be funny or not, like just cracks me up. It's just in like this way. It's like, I wish I could be. I wish I had that kind of humor that just brings everyone in and makes you feel like pals just talking about books. Like he is so funny and the books he reads are books that are, scare me. So like I would never read them, but I love to watch people read them and by people, I just mean him. So I'll link him again. I know I did last week. Sorry, don't get mad at me, but I'm going to link you again <laughs> because like I'm just a stan, but he read Empire of the Vampire and said that he absolutely loved it. So I... I'm doing the same. And of course, you know, Aaron from Booked and Busy as well swayed this opinion, but I'm on page 109 of it. And to be honest, I have a feeling this, I'm not gonna have like a whole lot of feelings about this book, which sounds kind of weird, but I just don't think I'm gonna have a whole lot of updates and a whole lot of review to give just cause I'm just kind of in it for the ginger. But I'm just kind of in it for the storytelling style I really like. It reminds me of The Name of the Wind, how it's like this person telling a story to someone to write down, although much bloodier and vampirier, and probably why I'm more interested thus far. Uh, and there's not songs. I really don't like songs in books. If there's a song in a book, that means I get to skip those pages. It's like an epilogue. Sorry, I don't make the rules, I just follow them. But uh, I like the writing style. I like the storytelling style and I like vampires, and I like just like in really intense fantasy, and this is kind of what that is. So I'm just gonna keep going with it because I have the audio checked out from the library, and that's what I'm doing there. The amount of looks I got on the plane, because they were like, what? Why is there a naked man on your book, and why is there blood surrounding him? And it's like, honestly, you don't wanna go into it. Um, and then the last final one that I have started is a Karen McManus book because pff, more stands here and it's you'll be the death of me I think and so it's these three kids that were friends in eighth grade They actually snuck out of some eighth grade field trip type thing and had like a little Ferris Bueller day moment and then got back in and they became best friends after that but when 
they got to high school, they drifted apart just, you know, as they stereotypically do into the little clicky clicks. And then they all decide after the girl of the group lost her race for class president against this dude that like no one really likes in this group. Well, group of three. So this trio, uh, they decide to skip for the day and just kind of hang out. And they stumble upon someone who they think may or may not be that guy that won the race against her, um, having mid annihilated. So that's where I'm at with that. I'm about 21% in, I think and I am listening to the audiobook from my library. I now have six library cards. Thought I'd update you on that as well. I love our library system and I love library systems in general and you should if you're able to and capable to support them. Also seriously, on a serious note, if you are not able to get to a library or able to, I don't know, if you just can't drive to one, if you can't find one, if you can't find one near you, I guarantee there has got to be at least one system that would let you apply online because all six of these, I did not go in to get a card. I emailed them, applied online, and you can provide proof that you live in their county or I didn't really have to provide proof I lived in the county. I just had to provide proof that I lived in the state. But also if you have the means, um, I know really big library systems are letting you pay like for an annual thing. And I got a comment on that. I think that you only have to pay for a library card if you don't live where that library is, like out of state. So in Texas, if, if I want one from New York or from California, I would like pay an annual fee, which honestly, I kind of view as like a donation to libraries and then also I get to like use their system as well. So I really like that setup too. I just really love libraries and I used to love them so much as a kid and I feel like watching Ashley from Bookish Realm, I'm really just repeating all my favorites <laughs> every vlog that I do, but I'm here to push the agenda and it's my favorite booktubers. Um, she just made me fall back in love with libraries and am I looking at a master's in library science. I may or may not uh, have looked that up on the plane yesterday. So I'm gonna go now because I got a Trenta coffee and I'm doing, I wouldn't say great. I feel like that's, I'm okay. <laughs> but I wanna finish this scary book and then tell you what I think about it because I'm really liking it and I'm really hoping it doesn't let me down. But Gabby liked it. So I think it won't let me down. I think, God, I hope. We'll see. <laughs> Life is a winding road, no telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights, won't stop for traffic lights. And I, I really want to know, really want to know, if I will ever figure out. Down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head Hello high. It is Saturday And I am here With a lot of disappointment in my heart So Let's talk about the bad first I finished Hidden Pictures last night And um I gave it a two Honestly it's a one and a half it was so 
disappointing. And um, so I was thinking about this all last night while I was attempting to fall asleep because I did not know, like I stopped doing star ratings because I feel like they are, everyone treats them like they're objective, but they're completely subjective. Like, you know, everyone's five star is so different than everyone else's as well as their one star or two star three. Like literally none of it means anything. But <laughs> I feel like for me, like I, I feel, wait, let me tell you that. I feel like when you watch someone a lot or read a lot of their Goodreads reviews or, you know, look at a lot of their book talk or their bookstagram, whatever, you can sense a pattern and like what their rating means by that. But I've realized it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you do star, it doesn't matter if you do the cop pal system, it doesn't matter which one you do, like they're all going to be so different. So I was trying to think of how to phrase it and a lot of what I didn't like are spoilers. So I'm not going to talk about them for this book. I'm going to talk about that in my wrap up. This I wasn't going to do wrap ups because I find them boring to be honest, but this book solidified that I will be doing a wrap up for this month because I was so disappointed. Like, I really didn't like this book at all. So, uh, hmm. What? What? How? Okay, so the beginning of it. Really liked the premise. I love the rich people aspect, coming to be a nanny for them, and then, you know, creepy kid. Great. That was off to a good start. Um, the writing, my partner is building a bookshelf for their office. If you can hear that, I'm sure you can. But the writing style itself was okay. Uh, it was super easy to read, but it wasn't good. Uh, I didn't like love it. I wouldn't, you know, wish other books were like it, but it was a very easy to just keep endless scroll on Kindle kind of deal. So I was doing that and I liked it for that reason. That was so easy and fast to read. But then I got really tired of all the exclamation marks that were used and this character seemed very juvenile considering and why I say like that because she is young so I don't want to say like oh a 21 year old can't read like young but she read like she was 15 uh and it read like she was written like she was 15 and not so much the character herself because she's been through a lot of big plot points in life like she has been through a lot that it does age people uh maturity wise does it mean like they always know what to do in their you know an adult all of a sudden no but the way that she would act and it was just her thought process was so childlike and naive and it just didn't really make sense with what we were told versus what we were shown. So I didn't love that, but I was ready. I was like, you know, what, whatever, because this has got a creepy atmosphere. I'm really liking it. And that's the best thing about this book is it had the creepy atmosphere and it had a good premise. And that's kind of all it had for me, at least. Um, it got weird halfway through the book because I personally like when books will touch on, you know, current events or it'll have political undertones, things like that. But for me personally, when it is going to have certain social issues brought up, I'm not really interested in reading it from a perspective that isn't part of that social issue. So own voices basically is what I'm trying to get at. I'm interested at it from that point of view, not so much anyone else's, not to say, and I'm not saying like, you know, they can't write that because I think everyone can write whatever they want. And that's not what I'm saying, but it doesn't mean they write it well. And for me, I'd rather go to, hello, I'd rather go to a reputable source of someone who has lived experience versus Wikipedia. Like that's to me, it's like an encyclopedia versus a Wikipedia. Listen, I'm gonna go to the encyclopedia. Like I just want, I just want the direct source. Uh, so there was that. And without going into spoilers, there's just some random bits that I was like, what are we saying? And like one thing, it just, they did make sense though. Like they weren't, like they were subtle undertones. They weren't subtle at all, but they just, didn't make sense. Like they uh, contradicted each other a lot. So for instance, there's this neighbor that is very much painted as like a hippy dippy Woodstock granny 
kind of woman that is now like just smoking it up all day chimney stack is going and she does psychic readings tarot all of that good stuff out the back of her house and our you know parents of this kid that we're babysitting that's you know a demon he like isn't allowed to see her they don't like her at all because she's so like free willy willy which to me makes me think of like a hippie but then randomly out of nowhere that we're in her house and she's blast blasting fox news and it was like explicitly stated that news channel and i was just like the math don't math. I'm so very confused. So I didn't really understand that. And then we got into the reveals, which I didn't love because I didn't like the pointed nature directed towards a little entity at all. And I didn't like the biggest reveal itself. I, well, okay. I think that it could have been done, but there were, you know, teachers, you know, when a student is telling you a fib and at first you're like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That adds up. That adds up. That adds up. Whoop. Red flag. Why are you so detailed right now? Only liars tell me details. And it was that it was, it was too many details. And I was like, you could have just had the twist and not had it go one step further. And it was a, it brought up a conversation that I think is important from a person that is within that conversation like a like a person that is within that identity group and it and it did what i don't think this dude is i don't think this author is as far as i know um and it didn't add to the story at all it didn't need to be there at all it didn't do anything it didn't do anything because at first i thought we were like trying to point out like you know white liberals pfft, that are um, affluent or whatever are uh, <laughs> just as bad. And you know, I'm all for examining that. I think that's a very important topic to go into. But instead, it just came across as a mildly self-aware white liberal claiming that and didn't actually like, I don't know. I don't know if any of this makes sense. And to be quite honest with you, please do. I'm, I'm, this is not me opening up for a political conversation. It truly is not. If you comment that, I will literally not read it because it's not what I'm trying to, that's not like what I'm trying to say was wrong in the book. It was just from undertones to plot points, to plot holes, to character development. It just all counteracted itself. It didn't, it didn't add up. The math wasn't mathing and I'm not good at math, but I could see, you know, two plus two is not 16. Okay. In no one's world is it that but I yeah so it wasn't that I minded like you know those aspects in the book it was just like you literally didn't do the plot well you didn't do the characters well you didn't do the writing style that great you didn't do these undertones that great they were so sloppy all of those things were and it was just like at the very end it felt like that specifically the undertones I'm referencing just were really shoved in there like three or four references at once that I was like okay what is that and so it kind of just solidified that I was because I'll get behind a crazy wacky twist I really will I love them I think they're great but this wasn't that it was like <laughs> I don't know how it felt like a lot of effort was put into the twist and yet it was still done lazily and not well I don't know if that makes sense. Anyways, this was the biggest letdown I've had in quite a long time. I think it might be my biggest letdown of 2022 so far. Biggest disappointment. I already have a list going of those. I just don't know which one's going to be the top disappointment, but we'll see. Um, I wanted to show you on a happy note some stickers I put. So I switched from my Kindle Oasis to back to an iPad mini for reading right now just because I wanted to see and I wanted access to my audiobooks on and I I wanted access through like Libby Scribd all the services I use not just um Kindle audiobooks so I switched back for this for now and I just love the way that this looks I think it looks so freaking cute don't you the only answer is the right answer which is yes yes Olivia I think it's adorable and I just planned out a week of reading for another vlog that I will be starting on Monday so I'm feeling motivated and excited for that. And we're going to attempt that project and see how it goes. And uh, 
Today, though, I'm just going to try to chill and read a book. And so I decided to pick up a smaller one to see if I could just have, like, kind of a fantasy, but not full-fledged fantasy moment. So I picked up Book of Night by Holly Black, and I am excited to read this. I know nothing about it other than, I mean, look at that character art. Are we kidding? I think it's so beautimous. Um... I can't remember which edition this one is. I think this is the Fairy Loot Adult Box Edition, which I love that they put a bookmark in. I, I hope that they continue to do that forever and ever. Amen. But, uh, yeah. So, I'm hoping that this doesn't disappoint me. But at this point, anything's possible, unfortunately. So, we'll see how that goes. But, uh, I do have some stuff that came in the mail, and then I also have some candles to show you. So we may make Sunday, like the day of the unboxing, because, uh, I mean, why not? I mean, why not do that? But for now, I'm going to go read Book of Night and, well, I'm going to literally just sit in this chair. And a lot of y'all were asking if this chair is actually comfortable. Yes, it is. Am I surprised? Absolutely. I thought that I was just going to buy it for like a little cute, like, oh, we're going to sit outside sometimes and put it on the porch. Listen, y'all that voted to put this back on the porch, it ain't going in there. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Nay, nay. I mean, I'm by, I might buy a second one. I might. For the front porch, I want rocking chairs. I want to live my American Gothic dream. But on the back porch, I kind of want a couch moment. But I also love the egg chair. But I think it looks so cute in here. And with this new shelf right here, it really frees it up. The space, I mean. I just really like it. I'm just into it. I'm about it. So I'm going to sit in it now. And it is quite comfortable. Highly recommend it. And I'm going to light a novel Wix candle because she sent me a new horror candle and I'm so excited about it. Because y'all know that's my favorite. That's my scent. If I could smell like that at all times, I wouldn't want that because I want to smell it. So if I could just have it like in my nose at all times, it's probably not healthy. But uh, yeah, okay. I love a good southern goodbye. Ten minutes later, goodbye. Hello, uh, happy Sunday, everybody. So I have two reading updates. Uh, I'm breaking out. So at first I was like, we're not gonna film it today. And then I thought, oh, I'll put makeup on, but no, because let me show, oh, so I got, I got this in the mail, Miss Paula's Choice. Um, I use this daily and I didn't for about a month. And Jacob, I would have a bunch of random breakouts and then I started using it again, which is why this is breaking out. But once these are gone, this stuff is 
literally life-changing and I'm gonna make sure I do not run low ever again because um, it's worth it so as usual I will probably forget to link it down below but it will technically be in my Amazon storefront because I have <laughs> started using that as an organizational tool for me uh, more than anything else because I don't really understand how it works but I'll put it under like I don't know skincare and stuff because I think that's probably where my head would think it is but I'm also gonna do these cleansing nose strips with tea tree uh we have a tj maxx next to us and we bought a bunch of random stuff like this so i'm gonna do that tonight after i wash my face but my partner is currently making tacos so that's good i've literally been laying in bed all morning just chatting with friends and um just kind of chilling and doing nothing productive and it was uh absolutely fantastic <laughs> and i think kind of what i needed after travel and work and preparing for work starting tomorrow because um it's apparently a holiday which i did not realize but i'll be doing some sprints because i'm going to attempt to do a like themed reading vlog whilst also doing a weekly vlog and i have planned out this whole way that it's gonna go um which i will okay so how i'm gonna do it is the themed vlog will be its own thing which is really just reading and b-roll so we'll see how y'all like that and the weekly vlog i'm gonna have a behind the scenes that breaks down how i did the week or the uh themed vlog um that is if that themed vlog comes out before um the weekly reading vlog so whichever sunday that themed one comes out that Tuesday it'll have like that clip of like behind the scenes because I think it's a super interesting cool way that I found um via a bookstagrammer of how to kind of schedule out your reading and that helps me when I am doing more of a workish TBR than just a fun free-for-all which is what uh last night handed in for this vlog and we'll talk about that in a second but um yeah, I don't want it to spoil what those books are, though, because I think that it is a fun vlog, and the way that I decided what to read was fun, so we'll see. It's just an experiment, just to see, and also I was like, I mean, y'all like reading vlogs, right? So who who's gonna say no to more reading vlogs? I mean, I wouldn't, so there's that. Speaking of things I don't say no to more, Kindle Unlimited books. So, uh, first up, Book of Night. I got to page 14 and we were doing good but I got to page 14 while watching some sprints out in the living room and then I transitioned to the uh, bed and usually when I'm in bed I can't like read physical books what the heck was that? there are so many random noises in this house I don't love it I don't love it. We're not going to go into it. We'll go into it in like spooky season or something. But I can't focus on physical books because I just, my mind is like trained to read on an e-reader. So I picked up Corrupt by Penelope Douglas and I don't know why I'm liking it, <laughs> but I am. Uh, I can't tell you the plot. I have no idea what the plot is and I don't quite care. I think it's like this little like group of friends are planning to enact revenge on this girl that put them in prison but to be quite honest based on what i've seen of them i'm like well <laughs> so we'll see how that goes but it takes place on devil's night which is october 30th which i never knew that so i don't know if that's true or not but i'm not really looking to kindle unlimited for facts i'm looking to them for vibes and that's being provided especially look at this cover like i wanted to pick it up because I really like these new covers that it has. So uh, there's that. Something I've decided to do with Kindle Unlimited series that I read, uh, aside from Miss Sophie Lark, because I love Sophie and I will buy every book that woman puts out. She's writing an Anastasia retelling right now. And I, when I tell you, my heart goes pitter patter. Every time, every time I see her do an update, I'm like, Sophie. <laughs> I literally, I adore that woman. But... I'm gonna buy the first book in the series to just kind of have it represented on my shelves and if I want to pick it up and show it in a video I have like the first book but I don't have to love the first book to represent you know the rest of the series with that book if that makes sense uh but I love out of all the covers Corrupt is my favorite 
in that series, so I'm hoping I like it the further I go on. What I've realized is you just kind of have to pretend like nothing makes sense and that's the point. And like social norms, what about them? I don't know, it's Kindle Unlimited truly. I've gotten back into my fan fiction mindset and now that I've done that, Kindle Unlimited is very tame. <laughs> so I'm just having a great time. Um, I also got some candles to show you, which y'all know are from Miss Novel Wicks. So not only did this queen send me my favorite scent in a wax warmer, which I am looking for a pumpkin themed one to have for all my wax melts, but she also sent me the huge candle and I am so excited for this candle because it is you know, it's my, it's my scent. This one has like a very eerie dark look to it. I like it. I just love this scent so much. Genuinely, it is my comfort scent. There is another one. I don't, I don't recall which one it is off the top of my head that I, I am so weird. <laughs> That's what I'm realizing. Because when I have, I'm reading a book, I associate a scent with it if I have a candle going. So there's a, there's one that I'll have to, and I'll, I'll show y'all whenever I figure it out, but with Way of Kings, the Stormlight Archive series by Brandon Sanderson, there's a specific one that was really calming because I started reading Words of Radiance when I was super anxious about my dentist appointment, when I got like all of these teeth redone, which was ugh, awful. Um, and I, I just love that scent so much because it reminds me of something actually calming me down because that doesn't happen. But another scent that I love, which is a very calming one and it gets me in the mood to like be productive. So I'm gonna be burning this tomorrow because like I said, I will be doing some sprints and I'll have to be editing this vlog. But I'll probably edit the vlog during the daytime because my computer does not like to edit while sprinting and I don't either. But uh, this is my like productivity candle. It's Elizabeth Bennett and Mr. Darcy, a layered one. And I just, uh, first of all, it's a beautiful mix of colors, but it is also such a good scent pairing. Like I love it. And then I have a new one called Cinderella. So I'll just show you these at the same time. And this glitter is gorgeous. I think I have to trim that wick because um, when my alarms went off, oh my god, it's gin and tonic, and y'all, I love a gin and tonic. I might make one tonight, but whenever my alarms were going off during uh, Spring Fling Halloween, it was because I didn't trim the wick, because I was like, it'll just trim itself naturally by God's will uh, with fire. That's not how that works. Don't do as I do. Do as I say. Trim your wicks. Next, I have Resand Undone, and it's this beautiful lilac color. And despite my disdain for that man, it does smell pretty good. Oh my god. Black amber, plum, and considerable length. I, girl, I love you. This is, I'm sorry, can we, one more time for the candle. That's hilarious. I absolutely love that. Uh, then I have Thriller, which is one that I definitely enjoy as well. It's a very, uh, it's, it's like a clean autumn -y scent. I really like it. Then I have Sea Salt Blossom for Neverland, which is another wax melt I will be using. And then I have TBR, which is a lemon drop scent, and it's this gorgeous yellow color. And uh, it smells like I just cleaned my whole house twice. I love it. So yeah, that is the only updates I really have for you guys. I will probably finish out this vlog tomorrow uh, before you know, I'm done editing it and whatnot. I'm hoping it's long enough. I know this was essentially like a weekend reading vlog and so I'm sorry for that, but it was what it was. And uh, next week will hopefully be a longer one. I downloaded the second and third Zodiac Academy books. So my plan is basically when I have done my allotted reading for each day of the books, that I am reading for that vlog I'm mentioning, I will then listen to those audiobooks while I do my like wordscapes, word puzzles and stuff like that, games on my phone, and just anytime I'm really doing anything where I can have an audiobook going, it'll be Zodiac Academy because I, okay, hear me out. Do I 
recommend Zodiac Academy. No, I do not. I, I surely don't. Uh, let me, no, let me check in. No, 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 I still don't. It's not good. Uh, it's not even okay. It's not even like a smidge fine. <laughs> it's like bad. <laughs> but for some reason, I can't stop watching it. It is like early seasons of any Real Housewives franchise. It's dated. It's a little off-putting. It's not really that well scripted. And yet, I can't stop thinking about it and I just want to keep reading it. So I am already 33% into the second book, but I'm just going to have that uh, as my audiobook. I'm going to transfer that from Kindle to audio because I think that it would be a great audiobook because it's like I say, the authors are never going to see this, uh, but, that, the, but that girl on TikTok that got really mad because someone gave it a one-star review, and apparently that is the ultimate portrayal. You are not allowed to be negative Nellies, even though that girl was so nice. It didn't even, it was literally the TikTok sound that said it was so bad that I wanted to give it zero, but I couldn't give it zero, so instead I gave it a one, and she just showed the book, and then that was it. But that was a scathing review, so. Beware. Beware. Those are scathing reviews, y'all, and uh, be careful. But the book is written very poorly. I, like, I'm talking syntax, pacing, character development, all of it, eh. It's not done well, but it's done fun. <laughs> So I am reading it and I am going to, you're going to witness it and uh, don't pick it up. I'll do it for you. Don't even worry about it. It's like eight books at this point or something. I don't even know. I mean, I might stop randomly in the series if it gets to be not a fun mess, but right now it's a fun mess. But I will not recommend it because I will not be held liable for the fact that you will realize it's a bad book <laughs> at some point within the first chapter. Yeah, man, yeah, first 10 pages, you'll, you'll know. It's also awful to read on Kindle. I don't like the formatting. I don't know what's up with it. And it is such a wordy book that says yet, like, not much at all. Very odd. So I'm hoping the audiobook is better. So we will see next week. That'll be for next week. But uh, like I said, I need to finish... My streaming setup, I ordered a little camera to go on top of my computer and I have my laptop. I don't know if the setup will be ready for me to use tomorrow. It may not be, but that's okay because I'll just use my laptop if that's the case. But I'd like for my, <laughs> my camera quality on it to be better because, I don't know, just the built-in cameras on most computers I feel like are not the best. So we'll see how that goes. But for now... I'm going to go help with dinner, and my version of that is cutting up the avocado because it's about what I can uh, help with, and I'm going to make a gin and tonic. Do you want to come with me? I'll show you how to make one. Uh, it is gin, get ready for it, tonic water, but I also, what is it called? I don't know. I smash up strawberries. I know there's a word for it, not a tender of the bar, so I don't know, and then I put some sugar in it because I'm Southern. I don't know what you thought was going to happen with that, but it's good. It's a, it's a nice refreshing. <gasps> and I have mint. We're doing great. We're doing great. I'm gonna take you with me. It's a, it's a date. We're doing great. It's a date. Okay, I'm gonna go. <laughs> Hello. I'm remembering to close out the vlog. Are you proud of me? Thank you. Uh, no, I didn't change out of my pajamas. And I'm not willing to discuss it any further than that. So, I'm home with a coffee. And uh, I am currently editing the video that this is the end clip for. Hi, hello, how are you? So, it is Monday, and uh, I need to start this week's vlog and finish out last week's vlog so I can upload this week's vlog patreon early moving parts lots of them so i finished uh nothing i know we're all surprised shocked and all uh i am 44 percent into corrupt so i'm just gonna keep going with this i don't even know what is happening i don't even know the point of this book the plot of this book the plot i vaguely know what it is but like the point 
the point is missing for me and yet I can't stop reading it. It's um, like akin to crack. Like I just, especially with continuous scroll. Interesting. Don't know why I'm liking it so much, but it is uh, definitely putting me in the mood to read something lighter. So I will be continuing with this book, but pairing it with something lighter next week. Uh, which we we talked a little bit about the Zodiac Academy uh, audiobooks I downloaded, so I'll be looking into that um, during some sprints tonight. But aside from that update, I don't really have anything else for you. Love you the most, but I just don't. So I think the emoji of today will be a pumpkin because I have my pumpkin pillow, which I very much enjoy. And... Uh, yeah, let me know what you're reading or specifically if you have read this book because I know I was reading Book of Night but now I'm scared because I got a lot of comments saying like, are you having a good time? And it seems like that insinuates I will not be having a good time at some point with this book. So if that's the case, let me know. No spoilers or I will, I'll get you. Uh, but yeah, pumpkin emoji, let me know what you're reading, how your week is going so far, and thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful morning, afternoon, or night, wherever you are. I will catch you in the comments down below and in my next video. Bye!